What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got a few a pack opening as you can see it's the new team of the week, it is Wednesday and of course the team of the week is led by this guy, it is Tevez, we've also got Rodriguez there as a centre attacking mid, I believe his other card is a winger, we've got Fernandinho who scored two goals, the first goal of which I think I remember being a really nice goal and of course we've got Kalu, I'm not sure why he's in form, I haven't had a look at the um, at his league to be fair, um, we're going to move on to the packs now, this isn't live as you can tell, if you are looking to buy your own packs be sure to go and check out the game keys, a link to their website will be in the description below. But as you can see, EA have done this thing called the 18 days of Christmas or the 12 days of Christmas, something like that. But today they've got these 15k packs and I just wanted to talk about what kind of packs are the best on FIFA. Um, you obviously you've got your standard packs, you've got your 5,000 packs, you've got your 7,500 7, packs. Um, I don't really want to talk a lot about them because they're going to be in the game regardless. But all these packs that they're bringing out, EA have brought out this 15k pack and I have to say it's quite disappointing. I did get a few good players and I actually got one pull coming up, I'll talk about that in a second, that was actually better than every single player in a team of the week apart from one player. It might even be this pack, I'm not sure about whenabouts I got him. But yeah, my opinion on these packs are they're not the greatest. I didn't get a single player better than Gomez. and. The only problem with Gomez is, I mean, if it was the start of FIFA, I'd be absolutely buzzing at the fact that he's an 86 rated player in my pack. But, he's not going to go for a lot now because for some reason, the, the market has just made his price so low, which I don't understand because he's a really great player on the game. Um, but, we're going to think back to some other packs. They do these 50k packs. 50k packs are the ones where it's full players and they're all gold, I think. They're all rare. Um, or they might be the ones where they're all player packs but there's only like five rare ones or something do you know you know which ones I mean I don't like them ones either there's just something about them I don't get great players in that if I get those packs for some reason I get silver rares and I know this is ironic because I've, I've had a lot of great pulls recently and they've all been in the 7.5k packs so I I don't know these special offer packs just don't seem to be worth the coins for me I, I mean I, I've gone and bought out what 10 of these 15k ones that's 150k's worth of coins I would have rather bought 20 of the 7.5k ones because I just think that I would have got better packs then I mean I might do an experiment one day the next time that there's like um, some of these special packs out I'm gonna do an experiment I'm gonna open all of these special packs and I'm going to open the equivalent in 7.5k's and we're going to see which we get better in. I personally believe that the 7.5k's are better unless we're going to be talking about 100k packs. Now 100k packs I fucking love. I got my legend card in there, I got a Robin in one, I got Royce in one of the packs and um, with my legend pack I got uh, Rooney and Di Maria didn't I? So the 100k packs in my opinion are well worth it. My luck with the 100k packs definitely and I managed to get two Gotses, I got a Royce, um, I got a couple Chiellinis, I got a Company, 100k packs spot on for me. Um, do you guys remember the double chance packs they did last year? I think they did it during the team of the year and the team of the season. I actually pulled a team of the season matter while those double packs were on so that if you don't know what a double pack is basically you have double the chance of getting an inform that week. and they did it whilst the team of the year and team of the season was out they brought out these double inform packs so obviously any of the players from the team of the week weren't going to be worth a lot because they were going to be very common but if you did pull somebody from the team of the season or team of the year they weren't going to be overly common because you know it's bas they're basically as rare as what the legends are I think they were pretty much that rare anyway and they might not have been that rare but they was definitely up there with that kind of rareness like a hell of a lot more rare than the informs um, well Every player has a different weight in anyway, I mean, you've got, do you remember Montero who I packed a couple, a few, I think it was last week, his card weight would have been so, so low, like, there may be like, maybe one of him every few hundred packs or something, that's just silver packs as well, I managed to get him in a gold pack, that was a complete and utter fluke, I don't know what the odds were of that happening again, but, we're coming up to the end of the pack opening, this is the last pack, and I just wanted to ask you guys, what are your best packs, who do you pull your best players in? For me it's the 100k packs and the bog standard 7.5k packs. If you think any of these other packs, you know, the offer ones, 15k, 50k, 20k packs, etc. Let me know which ones are your favourite because I'd like to know, it's quite interesting. Other than that guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to leave a like, comment and as always, subscribe.